Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. And I'm back, it's been about a year. My camera didn't work on my computer so I could not upload a video, but guess what? I'm back. All right, and I'm here to stay and today we are doing a long episode. I don't know how long this will go. This might go an hour, this might go 10 minutes. However long I decide. This is an AFC um, preview. So as you can see with my outfit right here, we got the Chargers hat on right here from 2021. And then we got the Dolphins to it. Tell if I turn the ball over. Jersey right here. Um, so let's get right into it. All right. So the first team, I mean, the first division we are going to be talking about is the AFC East. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the Dolphins first because that's the team that I have the most notes on. All right. So we're going to talk about the man on my jersey. Tua turned the ball over. Um, so Tua. Is he the man? Is he not the man? Is he the man? People don't know. So people just jump to the conclusions, and they're out here saying, well, two wasn't good last year. Um, two is not the man, right? Well, um, if we look back at the 2020 season, two was arguably a good a good quarterback, okay? I mean, he almost led the Dolphins to the playoffs. He didn't. Um, but he was a good quarterback. Uh, he beat the Patriots. He contended with the Chiefs. I can't remember if they beat him. I don't think they did. Um, but... He was a good quarterback. Now, what people forget is who the Dolphins had in that 2020 year. They had Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay, and Ryan Fitzpatrick played, I guess, the first five games of the season. And then Tua would go into... So, Tua had a couple games, right? He, he went into the Cardinals game. He played the Chiefs well. Um, he beat the Cardinals, one of the best games of the season. But So, Tua had a couple games where he was good. But there were a couple games where he needed Fitzpatrick to save him. So let's say, so five games right here without Fitzpatrick. So that's, I don't remember what their record was. I think they were like three and two or four and one or something. So or, so let's just say you get three wins out of those Fitzpatrick year, days, okay, games. And then you get um, two, you get, I'd say two or three wins out of that Fitzpatrick saving you. And then you get... Four or five wins out of just two of starting. You. Two of starting. So we had seven, twelve. So then, here you go. So, you, right. So Tua is probably not the guy. Like obviously he didn't have Jalen Waddle that year, and obviously he doesn't have Tyree Kill. So let's go back to last year when Tua has Jalen Waddle and Devontae Parker. So Tua. Now he wasn't terrible. He wasn't great, but he was hurt. Okay, and that's the moral of the story. Tua was hurt. He was hurt for, I don't remember how many games, but he was hurt, okay? And um, any quarterback is better than one that can't play, right? Like, it's just true, right? I mean, come on. Like, Johnny Manziel right now is better than an injured to a tag of Iloa. Um, so, right. So, there you go. Um, so, that's it for Tua. So, now let's go talk about this season. So the Dolphins in the offseason, or let's fast, let's go back to 2021. The Dolphins picked Jalen Waddle with their first round selection in the draft, okay? Jalen Waddle, one of the best rookie wide receivers, has a nice celebration too, okay? So this season they're like, um, Tyreek Hill is looking for trades and he's either going, so he's either going to the Jets or the Dolphins, okay? Now, who knows how the season will get turned out if Tyreek Hill goes to the Jets. Um, so anyways... He goes to the Dolphins, all right? So now Tua has Tyreek Hill. Right. That's the best receiver he's ever played with, right? But, but, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, <laughs> Tyreek Hill has played with Patrick Mahomes, who is a 10 times be better quarterback than Tua Tagovailoa. Okay? So, so you got, you're from Ty Tyreek Hill is going from Tua, I mean, no, he's going from Patrick Mahomes to Tua turn the ball over, okay? Or Tagovailoa. <laughs> Anyways, so Tua, so Patrick Mahomes is up here and Tua's down here, right? So Tua doesn't have an arm, but Tua's not a bad quarterback. I mean, he hurt himself at Alabama and it was out for last season. He went, I think, at the fourth or fifth pick in the 2020 draft. So this is the year Tua has to prove himself, okay? Is Tua going to be the best quarterback in the AFC East? No. Is he going to be the second best? That's what the Dolphins are hoping, okay? He's, they're hoping for Tua to be the second best quarterback in the AFC East behind Josh Allen. 
So just now that we're mentioning Josh Allen, let's transition into the Bills. So the Bills are expected to win the division and maybe even the AFC East, maybe the AFC, and even the Super Bowl, okay? All those are clear-cut possibilities for this Bills team, okay? Right? So the Bills, they're going to easily take this division. I don't think that there's a team that can play against them in the division. Who knows? They may not not lose a divisional game this season, okay? They might, they'll probably lose two games this year. If they stay healthy and they play the way they're supposed to, I say they lose two games, maybe even one, okay? They're not going 17-0, but, right, two games, three games, and then realistically, I think they lose three or four games, but if they play, if they're all healthy, they play well, then I'd say two games, two games, okay? Um, they, if we go back to the AFC Divisional Round game, who who stood out to you as a wide receiver? Not Stephon Diggs, not Cole Beasley, who they did lose in free agency this year. The man that stood out to you was, what's his face, Gabriel Davis, is that his name? I think so. Yeah, Gabriel Davis. He stood out to you, okay? Whatever, you know who I'm talking about. He had four touchdowns in that game. Four or five touchdowns. That's unbelievable. Okay? The Bills can rely on him, but they can also rely on Stefan Diggs, who wasn't as good as he was in 2020, but he's a great route runner, and he can catch. He's got exceptional hands, and he's fast. And the Bills, they had a good defense, okay? They just added Vaughn Miller, who helped the Rams um, win the Super Bowl. They helped. He was a key part to their defense, that duo of Aaron Donald and, um, and him. Help the Rams win the Super Bowl. Okay, so now we're done with the Bills. Let's talk about the Patriots. Now, as a Patriots fan, I don't know what we can expect this year from the Patriots. Now, the Dolphins are going to be good. The Bills are going to be good. And the Jets, they're going to be okay. We haven't talked about the Jets yet, so we'll talk about them after the Patriots. So, the Patriots lost a lot of talent this season. They lost JC, I mean, this offseason. They lost JC Jackson. Um, to the the Chargers, um, they lost Kyle Van Noy also to the Chargers. They they I mean they lost a bunch of defensive talent. Um, so what do you expect from the Patriots this year? I think if they don't beat a good team, they'll go ten and seven. Um, I mean at, I think I have them. If they beat the Dolphins twice, I don't remember exactly, but I think they can ease not easily, but I think they can go ten and seven this year. And I don't know if that's good enough to beat the Dolphins, but or beat out the Dolphins. It's definitely not good enough to beat out the Bills for first place. And the the Dolphins know that, and the Dolphins and the Patriots know they're not going to beat the the Bills, right? The Bills are the best team in the AFC. Okay, like plain and simple. Like don't sugarcoat it right here. The Bills are the best team in the NFL. Okay. I mean, I'm a Patriots fan. The Bills are my least favorite team in the league. The Bills are the best team in the NFL, okay? There's no way the Patriots, a mediocre team, I'd say a 14 or 13 team in the NFL. Yeah, 14 or 13 team in the NFL. And the Dolphins, maybe a 12 or 13, or around the same as the Patriots, are going to beat out the best team in the NFL, or at least the top two team in the NFL. Okay? Um, next up, we got the Jets. Now, Zach Wilson, there have been a lot of headlines about him this offseason. They're not going to say what about. Um, going into year two, I think he has a lot of expectations as he's gotten bigger at, throughout the offseason. Um, I think the Jets actually will surprise people with Elijah Moore, their, um, who is a great wide receiver. So I think the Jets might surprise people, and I don't see a weak team in this league. I do think, or in this division, I do see the um, Jets going under 500. But I don't think that the Jets will be like one and sixteen or like two and fifteen. I think they'll go six and um, eleven or maybe seven and ten. I think that they're not going to be terrible. I don't think they're gonna. They're obviously going to come in fourth place um, unless somehow Zach Wilson just just plays really well. So I see them around that five to seven win territory. Um, so this is the be- one of the best divisions in the NFL. Maybe the second or the third best behind the next division that we'll talk about, the AFC West. Okay, so I didn't write a lot of notes about this division, but this division, so it took me about nine minutes and 45 seconds to talk about the AFC East. This division might take me about the same, and then the rest of the divisions won't take me that long because they're not as good. So, 
this is easily the best division in the all of football. Let's talk about. Um, sorry, I lost my notes. Here we go. Hold on, I got that. Okay, so sorry about that. I read something wrong. All right, so this is the easiest, the the best division in football. All right, let me just get a sip out of this huge thing real quick. Just gotta prepare myself to talk about the best division in football. All right, so um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna go out of order here, and I'm gonna start with the bottom, the Raiders. Okay. I think the Raiders have the potential to be a second or third place team. I don't think they're last place in this division. Um, the Raiders made the playoffs last year with Derek Carr, okay? The Raiders lost their head coach in the middle of the season and still found a way to make the playoffs, okay? You have um, the Raiders right now. They hire, so the Raiders, let's talk about their offseason, okay? They go out. Actually, let's go further back. Let's talk about that AFC wild card game. You go up, you compete with the AFC champion, um, Cincinnati Bengals. You lose in the wild card game. Um, I mean, Joe Burrow had like a, I don't know, you don't lose that badly. Anyways, you have an intern head coach, right? People are thinking maybe bring him back, maybe not. He leads your team to the playoffs. So, I mean, uh, personally, I would bring him back. They don't bring him back. And they hire the Patriots offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels, who has already had a head coaching job in that division with the Denver Broncos, and he was not successful at all. He was very good on the Patriots, not successful at all. I, I mean, there's just been like a pattern where Patriots coaches are not successful. You got Joe Judge, you have Matt Patricia, and then you have, what's his face, Josh McDaniels, Brian Flores. He was successful, he got fired though somehow, um, but now he's on the Steelers coaching staff. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, back to the the Raiders. So, now let's go to the... Oh, yeah, I was talking about the offseason. So, they hire Josh McDaniels. Hopefully, he can be better for the Raiders. And then, the, the big blockbuster trade happens where they get the best wide receiver in the National Football League, the best wide receiver on this planet, Devontae Adams. They sign him for a big deal. They signed Derek Carr for a big deal. So those guys are both going to be Raiders for a long time. Devontae Adams, the best receiver in the league. He just came from Aaron Rodgers. And you can, so some people will go out here and they'll be at Theo, okay? You're talking about Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill. Some people think one, two, best duo, uh, not duo, but best two in the league, right? They're both, so you talk about Tyreek Hill, right? He He's going from Patrick Mahomes to Tua, turn the ball over, all right? And now you're talking about how Devontae Adams is going to be good on the Raiders because he, even though he's going from Aaron Rodgers back-to-back -back MVP to Devontae Adams, okay? But here you go. So I get that argument, all right? Let's be honest. Who is better, Tua Tungavailoa or Derek Carr? Tua has not played in one playoff game in his career. I know Derek Carr hasn't played in a lot either, but still, it's Derek Carr and then Tua down here. Derek Carr, Tua. Okay, Derek Carr is a better wide or better um, is a better quarterback than Tua. Okay, and Devontae Adams is a better wide receiver than um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Tyreek Hill. Devontae Adams can run routes. He's the best route runner in the league. I know I said Diggs is a good route runner, but Devontae Adams is better. Okay, he's got good hands and he 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 has a good quarterback still. I mean. We're just not going to talk about how these two were teammates, right? We're not going to talk about how Derek Carr and Devontae Adams are teammates back in high school, I think. It could have been college, could have been high school. I'm not sure. Um, I think it was college. I don't know. Um, but we're, they were teammates sometime for four years or three or four years. I don't know. Oh, I think it was four years, yeah. So we're just not going to talk about that special connection between uh, Derek Carr and Devontae Adams? Like, come on. All right, so let's move on to the next team in this division, who I think could also be th second or third or fourth. Um, I think, yeah, they could be fourth. I, I kind of think they could finish in last place. Either Ra the Raiders or the Broncos can finish in last place. Honestly, any teams in this division can finish in last place. I think every team is going to be over 500. But So we got the Broncos, all right? The Broncos. So... I don't want to say, I don't remember really too much about their season last year. They weren't great. They had Jerry Judy. They have, um, right, it's not a great 
team. Like, it's just not a great team. They add Russell Wilson, okay? They add a quarterback. All right. They still have that same team, that iffy defense, that um, that wide receiver room that just consists of Jerry Judy. Um, I feel like they got someone else. I'm forgetting someone, I feel like. I don't know. Do they still have Melvin Gordon? I think they do. He's not good. the same. No, he's on the Chargers, isn't he? I don't know. He could be on the Broncos. I can't look that up. But, okay, it's just a team that I don't think is going to be great. I mean, I think they're going to be okay. Uh, I don't think they're going to be great. I mean, it's the Broncos. They just add an all-star quarterback who's just not as good as he ever as he was back in 2013, 2014, when he led the Seahawks to the Super Bowl and had the best defense maybe ever. Behind the Giants, maybe, actually. But not like this. You, you know what I'm talking about. The 80s Giants and the 90s Giants defenses. But, I mean, or maybe the Steelers. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But, I mean, it, he doesn't have a tremendous defense. And we saw what he did with the Steelers last year. I mean, <laughs> the Steelers. The, the what's it called? The Seahawks last year. He, he was hurt. He had a thumb injury. But it wasn't great. And then, um, I just... I just don't think the Broncos are going to be a great team this year. There's just no way to sugarcoat it. Broncos are the fourth place team. I think they're. I don't. I. I think they'll just be a, like 500. Uh, can, you can't be 500. I think they'll be nine and eight. I mean, it's not going to be. I don't know. I don't think they're getting overhyped. I think. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. Maybe they won't. But who knows? Next up, we got the Charger. The Chargers, right here. Okay, so the Chargers were about a missed field goal and a, uh, three points away from making the playoffs. I, I don't remember it, something like that. Um, yeah, they were three points away from making the playoffs last year, okay? And the Chargers, let's go through their roster from 2021, okay? Well, not their whole roster. You know what I mean. So their defense, it was okay. I, I'm not going to say it was the best defense in the league. It was, it was good. It was solid. Let's just say solid, okay? Uh, maybe a little less than solid. Um, just just average, just plain average, okay? And then you got the offense, pretty good offense. Austin Eckler, your running back. Justin Herbert, a third year, going into his third year. And you have uh, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, okay? So that's a solid team, right? That team, you, you like, they're gonna, they could make the playoffs. They uh, first round exit, but they can make the playoffs, okay? And they didn't make the playoffs last year, but I think if they had the same team, they still make the playoffs. The Chargers know their team and know how to do stuff in free agency. And they're not, they, they're just reasonable. And they go out there and they take the best, one of the best cornerbacks in the league, J.C. Jackson, and they go out there and they trade for Khalil Mack. Okay, so they pick up J.C. Jackson in free agency and trade for Khalil Mack. All right, this, that makes that, this defense 10 times better. Okay, now hold on. So that makes that this defense ten times better, and I think the Chargers have a chance at winning the division. Okay, they're going to be a second or a first or second place team. Okay, the Chargers have a good chance at making the playoffs. No, they have a chance. They have a good chance of making the playoffs. They have a good chance of winning the division. Okay. Now, a not so we're done with the Chargers. Just so you know. Okay. All right. I think the most underhyped quarterback, this, uh, not quarterback, the most, like, okay, I think people are crazy for counting out the Chiefs. Oh, well, the division got better, the Chargers, the the, the Broncos and the Raiders are going to be good, like, no, they, they lost Patrick, no, or they lost Tyreek Hill, they're not going to be good anymore, just, just stop. The, the Chiefs are going to make the playoffs. The Chiefs are going to make the AFC Championship game. There is no question about that in my mind. The Chiefs are still good. They're still the Chiefs, okay? They lose Tyreek Hill. I mean, Tyreek Hill's just like, he's he's not, he's that he kind of a locker room kind of guy that just brings you down in the locker room. He might be good on the field, but he brings you down in the locker room, okay? You have, um, you have Pringle and Hardman. Just as fast as Tyreek Hill. So the speed does not matter. The Bucks figured out a way to stop Tyreek Hill from just, you know, just running down the field and catching those deep balls that would help the Chiefs win uh, every game. And then 
like the game-changing play. The teams, they figured out how to stop that game-changing play, okay? Patrick Mahomes struggled in the first couple weeks to figure out how he can win games without that big game-changing play that they had about every game. And he decided to kind of not throw the, uh, the interception, not throw the dumb deep pass, and just check throw the check down pass when no one's open, okay? And that helped the Chiefs get to the AFC Championship game, okay? Right? So, now you lose Tyree Kill, who wasn't really doing much for the Chiefs. Now, he, he wasn't the same. He wasn't doing this. He was doing stuff for the Chiefs, but he wasn't doing, like, what he did for the Chiefs in 2019, and 2018, 2019, and 2020, right? Well, for most of the season of 2020, okay? And then... You not only so you lose Tyree Kill, and then you gain Juju Smith Schuster, who is a great slot wide receiver. Um, although all like the hype or not the hype, the TikTok dances and the Corvette court, I did it on my channel. You can go watch that; it's pretty bad. I messed it up. Um, but um, so I'm sure you've already seen it. Actually, it's terrible. Let's just it's terrible. Okay. Um, so I think the Chiefs are still going to be good. Um, and this is a 20 minute long video and I don't want to make, and I don't really want to do the, like make a 30 minute long video. So I think I'm just going to end it here and then do the rest of the AFC another time, maybe in a couple of days, maybe in a week. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did watch it, um, till the end, which you probably didn't because you know, um, so go hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you so much for like 4.2 thousand views on my, um, hack collection video. I'll be back with this part two um, in about a week, I would say. Um, so, hope you have a good day. And um, I'm back. So, I had a lot of fun making this video. Um, so, hope to see you next time. Bye.